Hi, my name is Tawana Tawana Lynn. Welcome to my channel. If you're a new subscriber here, welcome to the family. We are so glad that you joined us and that you're a part of the group. If you're an oldie, you've been here, you're an OG. Thank you for joining again. So today I have a colorful look or a pastel look with drugstore products. I did go purchase a few new drugstore items and you guys seem to love my reviews. So I'm just gonna try to keep giving you guys reviews. So I'm reviewing the new, I guess it's new. I don't know how new it is. Um, the Milani Gilded Pastels palette, which is this one here. This is what I reviewed and you will see my thoughts later on and also I reviewed the new NYX plump right back um, primer you will hear my thoughts on this as well so I hope you guys enjoy the video let's get into this look Here we are, face freshly washed and moisturized. So I did my brows off camera. So we're not worried about the brows. So we're going to start with eyes. I always start with eyes. Um, today I'm using this new palette that I got, which is the Milani Gilded Pastels. Oh, it's clear. And so that's the palette that I got. It is, seems to be maybe new, not quite sure, but this is how it looks. It's cute. It's very pastel, just like it said, it's pastel. So I was considering doing the green pastel or the purple pastel i haven't quite figured it out yet so i'm going to kind of swatch so that's the green the matte this is the purple which looks kind of ashy and this is the purple that now that is beautiful that shimmery purple is beautiful. Okay, so you can kind of see where you can't. You can't. So this is the shimmery purple. This is the matte purple, which looks kind of white. This is the matte green or teal, tealish green, I guess you could say. And then this is the shimmery blue one um the other colors are cute there's like one two three four five one two three four five yeah there's five shimmer shades in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and ten um matte so it's it gives you um it gives you a nice variety Oh, I don't know if I want to do green or if I want to do purple. I don't know. Let me do purple. Ooh, no. I think I'm going to do... <laughs> I think I want to do the pastel green. I don't know. That's just what I'm feeling. So we are going to use that one today. We're going to use this one as our star of the show. And then I don't know if I want to use, I don't know if I want to use, I might use a little of the either this shimmer or this shimmer I haven't quite figured it out quite yet we're gonna figure it out together so but first I'm going to prime my eyes with concealer
Okay, so we're going to start off with kind of like a neutrally shade. So I'm going to start off with Third Date, which is this one. And I'm going to put that kind of in my crease to kind of give me a little bit of color. Okay, that didn't even show up like at all interesting so hmm I'm gonna still go with the green so we're just gonna start off with peacocking we're gonna start off with that and I'm gonna put that in my crease Okay guys, I don't like this palette. I had to put on a lot. When I tell you a lot, I had to put on a lot of shadow just to get these two colors to show up on me. Ooh, that's a no-go for me. Like Cam said, zero out of 10. We'll never try again. And I usually like Milani's colors. So I'm going to see if I can possibly return this because I did not like it at all. Like, at all. At all. <laughs> so that's it for the eyes. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to just line my eyes put on some lashes but I'm gonna do that later if you're new here welcome and I put on my lashes and my eyeliner at the end because it just it's more comfortable for me no particular reason just more comfortable for me okay so now we're going into the face and I am using the NYX plump white back um, primer for my face um, I just got this oh I just got this when I got 
that palette so I got this and this together this I hear is a drugstore version of the hydro grip foundation so I'm very interested in trying that so we're gonna do this um, as our primer and for our complexion we're using things that are not new to me um, I am using my Maybelline Super Stay uh, foundation in color 360 my elf hydrating camo concealer in deep chestnut to highlight and then to contour I'm using the same one but in rich ebony so these are our complexion products nothing new but still the same the primer is the only thing that is new Okay, so for the uh, primer, it feels similar to Milk Hydro Grip with the tackiness. It is tacky on my skin. Um, the difference is this does have a strong perfumey smell. Um, Hydro Grip does not have a smell or if it does, it's, I think it does, but it's like really light. This smell is strong and it's a little more watery than Hydro Grip. It's more jelly this is gel but it's a little looser consistency compared to the hydro grip so um i just wanted to kind of give you that but it is sticky or tacky like hydro grip so now let's move on to our complexion
Okay, so I just set my face with the Maybelline Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Medium Deep. And then I used the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Mattifying Primer and Primer Powder. And this is in the color Mocha. This is how it looks. And I set my bronzer contour with my one of my favorites, the Makeup Revolution Ultra Matte Bronzer in Deep. So now we have to do our blush and our highlighter. So for the blush, I'm using this Black Radiance Artist Color Baked Blush in Brick House. This is not new. I've used this before many of times and then for my highlighter I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Chrome metallic highlighter in the color molten Mol molten gold Okay, so now I'm going to go off camera and do my eyeliner and my lashes, and then I'll come back for lips. Alright, so I went off and put on eyeliner and lashes, and I definitely feel like it elevated this look. Because it was not the best for me, so I needed a little elevation, so it elevated it. Um, it was not remarkable though. I still feel like the colors are not what they should be. So, lips. We are using the NYX or NYX, however you want to call it. The lip liner in Mahogany. And then we're going to use their Butter Gloss in the color Praline. Okay, here we okay, here we are with the final look. It's cute. It's cute. I mean it kind of was failing at the beginning, but I feel like it looks cute now. Um, after we did a little elevation with the lashes and the eyeliner and then the complexion, of course, is on point. It's something that is not new to me. Um, so I love the way it looks and I really like this butter gloss so this is the first time that I've ever bought or purchased the butter glosses I got the color praline and then I got the color let me get it out the bag and I got butterscotch yep and I got butterscotch so I got butterscotch and praline so pray but butterscotch is more of a nude and praline is new too but it's a little pink pinky a little pink in there as you can see on my lips but i really like these butter glasses they are the bomb um but so let's talk about the palette the milani pastels palette oh i wanted to love it so much but I don't. It did not give me what it was supposed to give me. I wanted more of a pastel look, bright colors um, that looked nice. And honestly, it did not deliver. Um, I love Milani. I do, you know, have other Milani products, 
but this it was not a hit for me it was a thumbs down thumbs down for me and see look at my nails I was ready for pastel like I'm ready for pastel springtime look that's what I was looking for and this didn't do it I mean it's cute it can be cute like I built it up to become a color but I put way too much on like way too much for me to have this um this this palette like I put too much on more than what I would normally put on with other things and it's just not um high-end palettes just you know there's some drugstore palettes that I know for sure I wouldn't have to put on as much as I had to put on like I had to pack pack it on so I don't want to have to do that um that means that there's not good pigment in the colors so yeah hopefully I can return this if not then I'll keep it but um I'm definitely going to try to return it um the NYX plump right back primer I really did like this this is really good it um it does feel great on your skin and it does have that tacky stickiness that the um I can't even think and I didn't say it her time in this video hydro grip that the milk hydro grip primer does so I think this is going to work out good so I'm keeping this I'm definitely keeping my butter glosses this I'm returning returning it taking it back you can have it didn't work out for me so um those are just my drugstore makeup that I've tried today and I did a colorful look in the process so well it was supposed to be a pastel look but you know it kind of failed <laughs> but that wasn't on me but I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you guys guys like subscribe give me a thumbs up Hit the notification. Oh, I can't talk, y'all. Hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when new content drop. You know what I need to put that in a song so you know y'all can hear it all the time. But um, I hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.